everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am sure with a new video on Scratch and it is on maze game. So let's learn how we can make a maze game and it is very easy project. There are only few codes which are there and you have to code only one sprite or two. So without wasting the time. So for our sprite this time, I'm not going to choose any sprite. I'm going to paint this sprite. So let's make a sprite. You can take any color of your choice. And here, let's make a smiley. And you can take this brush, take the brush color to whatever color you want. I'm taking this one and this one. Okay, and let's take a red color for this line. I think I'm not very much good at drawing, but this is fine, I think so. So let's reduce the size, let's make it 50. So our smile is ready to move. For the backdrop, let's paint the backdrop also. We have to make a maze inside it. So how we can actually do? Take a square, take the color of your choice. Let's take the orange color and cover the entire stage area. Then inside it, you have to make, okay, let's keep it back to orange. Then take another color, let's just say the green one, and let's start making small, small parts. And it should be without outline. So you have to make sure that uh, the purpose of the game is basically the smiley has to go through this way and it has to reach to the final position. And if the smiley touches these green rectangles, then it will start from the initial position again. That is the actual theme. So uh, you can just try out making this kind. Like you can make the game a little difficult also. Like how it can go through that space and some in between puzzles. I'm just taking random rectangles. So we will give a green flag here. So it is very also easy to design the backdrop. It is not very much difficult. It's just that you have to be careful. And green button or green flag you can take to keep it here. And let's reduce the size. Let's make it 30. So the game is like this, the smiley has to move like this, this or that way, go here and then reach to the flag. If you feel like you can make this smiley a little more small, it is 40 now. So let's start giving the code block. So initially we want the smiley to move up, down, left, right by using the arrow keys. So when green flag is clicked, control forever, put if then inside it, then another if then, if then, and if then. Okay, now another one, just go to events. Sorry, go to sensing, choose, key space pressed. For the first one, make it up arrow. Then make it down arrow. Then make it right arrow. And then the left arrow. Because we have to use with all the four keys. Now you must remember that for the up down, it is Y coordinate. And for left right, it is X coordinate. So for up down, let's keep it, change Y by 10, change Y by 10. For left and right, change x by 10 and change x by 10. So while making a game, you have to be careful like how many steps you should keep or how in which way you should design your game so that it can function well. I think this is better. Moving 3, 3 is better. Up, down, so that it can also avoid touching the green part. Now the next condition is, if the smiley touches that green color rectangles, it should start from the initial position. So where you want your smiley to start from, keep it here. The coordinates of the smiley are x is minus 161 and y is 157. Just go to motion, take this code, go to xy. And keep it in the starting position. Go to control, give another condition if. And go to sensing, choose touching color. To get the exact green color, you can take this, click the dropper, select the green color and keep it here. Now go to motion again, the code is still the same for the position, keep it here. Okay, so it will start again if it touches the green color. Let's test the code. So if it is touching the green color, it will start again. Okay, let's try another thing. So it will come like this, you can make it say something. You can make it say, oh no, you, whatever you want. Let's write, oh no. And let's make it for a few seconds only, 0 0.2 seconds. Let's see. So it will come like this. And now we have to make, if the smile is touching this green flag, it should switch your backdrop to you have run the game or you have gone to the next level. You can do that way. So go to control again, give this condition of touching the sprite. If then, go to sensing, choose touching mouse pointer and make it flag, the green flag. 
So if the smile is touching the green flag, what should happen? It should switch the backdrop. So go to backdrop and let's paint one more backdrop. Um, we can duplicate it. Take this color. Okay, we can take this and green color only, and let's cover it with green. And let's write the text in handwriting font. And you can take the color of your choice for the text color. I'm going to write congratulations. You have one. And you can enlarge it by this way. You can make it in the center also. So this is ready. Go back to code. And initially, when your game starts, your backdrop should be the first one. Go to looks. Switch backdrop to backdrop one when your game is starting. And if the smile is touching the green flag, then switch backdrop to backdrop two and hide the smile. You can also hide it. And you can also hide the flag also. Hide. If you are using hide block, always remember to use show block otherwise when you start the game again it will not be visible there because as it is hidden in the end after this for the green flag also you can make an event when green flag is clicked show the flag scroll down take the show put it here and when the backdrop switches to backdrop two, take another event then hide it go to looks again and choose the hide code put it there so let's start playing this game go to this Oh no, I think I'll not be winning it, but I'll try. I don't think so. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go down. I think this one is going to be difficult. Yeah, I knew it. For this one, let's go to backdrop and change the thickness. This will be better. So go to code. Let's do a trick. Keep it here. Move. Move. And yes. Congratulations. You have one. So this is it. In this few simple codes, you have just made an amazing game called Mainstream. And you can just share it. And this is done. That's it. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and have learned something from it. So please like it, share it, subscribe it as much as you can. Thank you. Bye.